Hello everyone and welcome to Banished, relatively new game that's on Steam. It's a real-time strategy and the premise behind it is that you start off with exiled travelers. They've been exiled from whatever land they were previously at and now they have to form a new civilization. So there's actually no real point to this game apart from probably growing and growing and growing. Uh, and that's pretty much all that I know about it. So I haven't actually played the proper single player yet. We've only done the tutorial, but let's jump on into some actual game. So town name, uh, Morik Elso. No, it has to be something related to Krebs. And I've already got my Steam overlay coming up. It's gonna be the Krebsville. Krebsville, of course, of course. And you can change the map seed. Which is pretty cool. That means you got randomly generated maps every time you come on to uh, this game or start a new map. And so, what else can we do? Terrain types, mountains or valleys? Let's go for a valley. Terrain size, let's go for something small. And climate, fair, mild, harsh. Let's be fair. Let's be fair. Disasters on or off? Ooh, wow, really? Disasters. Does it say anything about disasters? It doesn't really look like it. Starting conditions, medium. Okay, right. We'll, we'll, we'll just do that like that. Yeah, yeah. We'll start with something relatively on the simple side. Nothing too much because this is Krebsville. And this is the first time that we're actually building anything. Uh, let's start off with something small. So, wow. Uh, this was meant to be a small map, but it looks pretty damn big to me. You could imagine what it'd be like if you had a large map and just how massive everything would be. So, please uh, bear with me as I get adjusted to all the controls. But anyway, Krebsville. This is Krebsville and the citizens of Krebs. They were ousted from another village, probably not related to Krebs. And so, these are all the Kreblians. Alright, Kreblians, time to actually make something of a civilization. So, right now, they say they need homes, and how do we build homes? I think we go over here, wooden house, stone house, what's the difference between that and a wooden house? Uh, provides citizens to, uh, provides more warmth than wooden houses, alright, boarding house, provides a temporary place for homeless to live, ah, okay, so you have all these different sort of houses. And what we're gonna do, let's see, how are we gonna build this? I, I don't know how the architecture of our city is gonna look like, or, well, I say city, but it should be... Well, we start on something smaller. Say town. Let's say that we're just gonna have a row of houses along the sea or the water side. Let's turn these around. Actually, we can make different houses along the water side. Something like that. Uh, hold on, just something like that. And maybe something like this, like this. And there we go. That would be three houses. So all you people have to live in three houses. Have, 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 a, have a good time. Good luck. Good luck squishing in. I'm sure you'll get to know each other just fine. Uh, and now what we're gonna need is to actually sustain our economy. So just like you have the stockpile in Stronghold, it sort of reminds me of the one in Stronghold, this stockpile here. You have resources on them, on it, and your villagers go use the resources to build things. Now, I think we need to actually get an economy going here, so let's figure out how we're gonna build an actual economy. There are so many different ways, or so many different buildings you can actually use to to actually like, you know, make, uh, to expand your civilization. Oh dear. Let's just go make this woodcutter over here somewhere. And now the woodcutter doesn't actually do a whole lot. As in, it's not like the, he doesn't cut down the forest. The so woodcutter takes logs that have been cut down and then he turns them into firewood and then firewood's used to make fire and warmth inside the houses. So I need to figure out how to actually clear out areas of forest. Remove structures, remove anything in selected area. Ah, okay, okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag and drop over here. And so you can see all these X's along the trees. We just selected all these trees and now our extra laborers are going to come chop down trees. So these guys are gonna go build this thing over here. These guys are gonna keep on building. And we're gonna try to figure out how to get these <laughs> professions working properly. I've already forgotten how to, uh, ooh, increase priority, okay. 
here we go. This is the professions tab that I was looking for. You got all these different things. So you, all we have right now, and these are, this is like the general sort of thing. Laborers perform easy work such as clearing areas and moving produced goods to storage. But then we can also select a certain amount of people to be to do certain roles, like builder, farmer, herdsman, and whatnot. So we're gonna increase this. Like we're gonna make four, pe three people dedicated builders. And all they're gonna do is just build, 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 build. That is their role, all right? They're just gonna build and build and build. So if you're thinking about like the longevity of this game, like what are you supposed to do? What is your end goal? I, I really don't know, to be honest with you guys. I, I don't know if there's an end goal. I think it's just to try and make the biggest civilization possible, get as much resources. Uh, and also a nice thing to note is that you don't have like the same people right on throughout. What happens is that people like this, they age. They get older and older, like black and white, they eventually die, they can have kids, and then the kids can eventually have kids once they've grown up. Yes, once they've grown up, not when they're still kids, because that would just be wrong. And now what we're going to do is actually speed this up. So we're going to set this to five times. And I think that would be more appropriate speed to get things actually done here. So houses are building faster, that's building faster. This is still not really building, but it's just going at its own pace, whatever. And now we have to start thinking about... Well, our villagers can't survive on just houses and wood. They are gonna need food sooner or later. We're gonna need to make, say, like a fish farm or fishing dock, because we've got a river that's right here. So we'd be silly not to actually utilize it. Let's make it right... Uh, where are we gonna make this actually? Are we gonna make it right here? Yeah, let's make this the docking area This is the dock and actually what you shouldn't do What they say in the tutorial is that you shouldn't make docks right beside each other because you see that yellow thing if they're overlapping then apparently you suffer from over over fishing and You don't get as much food. So let's get a few docks down in different areas <laughs> we have to keep it on the same island right now because we don't have a a bridge or anything. Let's make this like relatively near the stock. Let's make it relatively near the stockpile, methinks. Shit, I can't build it there. Yes. Oh. Okay, there we go. So we're building a bunch of. Oh, oh shit. Okay, whoops. It looks like we're actually building one down over there. That's why we couldn't do it. Okay. So, all we have right now is just fish. Uh, so these guys don't have much in terms of a variety. Our Kremlians of Krebsville don't have much variety in terms of food. Sorry. And our woodcutter needs wood. Wait. It's enabled, right? Okay. Uh, now, we're gonna have to sign somebody to actually go into the role of the woodcutter. And it's just one person. It can be a he or a she. And then now they're gonna be the designated woodcutter of Krebsville. And from that day on, that peasant, <laughs> that Kreblian was known to be the woodcutter. And they will prov provide the wood for the fireplaces that will keep the houses warm. But we don't have enough houses yet. Because uh, you see, a lot of these people are still saying, Oh, we want houses. Alright, okay, you greedy bastards. I'll give you houses. But I think we need to actually get down, like, I don't know, some roads here. We need to think how we're gonna make this thing look like. Now, why the hell is this stop? Here we go. Apparently you can pause it. Now we're just gonna build this road here, and roads allow faster travel uh, along those roads. So if we just build it like this, and what I wanna make is like a big old, I don't know, big like plaza in the middle. I think that would be so cool to make something like that. To make like a plaza. And uh, along these roads here, we'll just make it so that we'll have the houses, just like this. Uh, just like this, we'll need a bit more. But in the middle, that's where we're going to have our plaza. Now, I, I don't know what kind of buildings we can build. Town Hall, really? Used to record and show census data. Interesting. Oh, wow, look at that. That is so awesome. Hold on. So, can we actually, like... Tunnel. Nice. You can build a tunnel through through mountains and whatnot. 
So anyway, we're gonna build a plaza here, and I don't know how big this plaza is actually gonna be, but let's make it just out of dirt road at the moment, and eventually, once our citizens are paying taxes, and, well, they probably don't pay taxes in this game, but you get the point. Eventually, once they start doing a bit more, then we shall reward them with, with something very nice. So, like right now, it's just dirt road everywhere, and this is gonna form our plaza. Now let's build a, a government building for the Kreblians. Or should- I don't know! Do you think a government building is a bit too early? Because I feel like a government building is maybe possibly too posh. Something a bit too posh. So... We should maybe think a bit smaller right now. I think we're gonna actually have to clear out more areas. And in fact, what we're gonna do... Is we're gonna build a forester. I think that's what they're called. No, that's- that's something else. Forester Lodge, because this guy here, this asshole, <laughs> this Kreblian, whoever it's gonna be, he plants the trees, but he also clears out the area of like rocks and other trees and stuff like that, so it's quite an important part of the economy. Now, where are we gonna build this? I think we're gonna build this a bit like on the outskirts, I think. Maybe. Something like that. Okay, so now are they gonna go build it? It's a bit off outside the area. Okay, so they, they're, they're, they are gonna do it. Oh crap, we didn't put any fishers. Oh no. Oh no. We're gonna need more people pretty soon. Okay, wait, it looks like... What? Ah. Ah, okay, we're, I think we're suffering from probably wood problems. Are we suffering? Yes, we have a lot of firewood, but we don't have any wood right now. That's not good. Okay, so we're gonna have to <laughs> clear out more wood, methinks. Uh, just like this. And so, here we go. The homeless. All the people without the home, all the Kreblians without a home. You go chop some wood. Cause then we will build some houses out of that wood. Go Kreblians, go. I like this rain. It reminds me of like a shower. And I have a feeling what they actually did was stuck a microphone inside a shower. Cause it actually totally sounds like the water that comes out of your shower, doesn't it? Okay, we have still a lot of homeless and whatnot. Do we have any sort of like reports on how we're doing? General statistics, here we go. So, the average health of our citizens is actually quite low. Well, I don't want to say quite low, it's it's high. But in the tutorial it was five hearts, and I was like, ah, that's high. So, I guess half a heart down isn't that much lower, is it? Should be fine. Our happiness is five stars. See. Kreblians are not fussy people at all. We can be homeless and that is fine. Uh, as long as the government, as long as dear Krebsy, the overlord, gives us jobs, we're happy. We don't need homes. Okay, so they're just gonna be getting together stone and whatnot. But now, when are they gonna start building the houses? Oh, when are they gonna actually build anything? Oh god! It's winter. Oh dear. Oh dear. I hope you Kreblians are gonna be okay. It's probably gonna get cold. Well, we have firewood. We have... We have... We have firewood for the chimneys. We just don't have homes. <laughs> Unfortunately. Sorry. Sorry, guys. And now, why are they not built anything yet? Let's take a look at our professions. And I'm sort of thinking maybe we'll need to... Where's our professions? God damn it. We might need to increase the amount of builders that we have. Ah! We have 11 people now. Oh wait, 10 people, I think, in our village. How many do we have? Okay, we have 14 adults and 5 children. Yes! Go Kreblians, go! Spread your genes. Spread your diseases and whatnot. My question is, is why are they not building houses? Why are they not building anything? Or is it because they're can't figure this out. Okay, here we go. Now they're building. Now they're building. Uh, maybe it's because we're, we're lacking people or something. We have two free laborers. They just do the general stuff. But come on. Build quicker, please. I think we actually need more houses. I wonder if there's a way that we can increase the priority of this. 
the heck does this mean? Total number of workers in this profession. What, building? Number of citizens working at this location. It's clearly not high at all. Because there's like none actually doing anything right now. Oh! One of two! Yes, it looks like we might have somebody building this thing. Yay! So one fishing dock has been made. And this is as a result of the wood that we managed to acquire from chopping down the trees here. Our health is going down. I don't like this. Our health is actually going down. But I'm just glad we've got lots and lots of fish. Like, take a look at that. I bet you guys love your very, very, uh, highly various variety, high variety diet. I mean, get those Omega 3s in, oh Kreblians. Gotta love them, Omega 3s. Now, what is this? The, the reserve of food is low. Hey, come on. 247 fish. That is a lot of fish. For 247 fishes for f uh, 19 people? I think that's pretty good. That's quite a lot, don't you think? So anyway, our guys are still building here. We're gonna need to cle clear out more area, methinks. So, more trees. And we're just gonna get rid of everything. Ugh. I mean, we could have tried to make our town look nice with all these trees in between, and it looked so beautiful then, but, you know, this is our first time doing this right now, making, uh, playing this game, so it's probably not going to be the most beautiful of towns, Krebsville, but, uh, yeah. Our, the most beautiful thing is going to be the government building in the plaza. That is going to be the beautiful thing, alright? <laughs> okay, come on, keep clearing out stuff, guys. Krebsians. What is this? Little trees that are planted? I guess? At least I presume so. Anyway, I hope my aging population doesn't become too old before the kids grow up, because I don't want more people dying than what is being birthed. We need more kids! We need more kids. Okay. So, how are we gonna increase or get more kids? Well, I don't think we can build kids at the <laughs> at the blacksmith, but we can definitely build kids at the tavern if we just get all our citizens drunk <laughs> They should be able to spawn re uh, What is the word? Make more kid make more kitties there Provides waters for putting out fires. No way Prevent citizens from becoming sad when their elders die. Aw Sad face chapel Okay. Hospital and whatnot. That's fair enough. I think really what we need to figure out is just building more houses and getting more wood right now. Where are these guys taking all the wood? Alright, how much wood do we have right now? Okay, we have 21 stored logs. And how much firewood do we have? 102. Okay, so that Kreblian who's building all the... Or chopping all the wood, the firewood is very, very busy. Look at him go. See, check that out. Just chomping, uh, chomp, 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 chomping away at a stump. And apparently some wood comes out of it. But we got 26 sword logs right now. That should be enough to keep building, no? What else are we going to think about to get afterwards? Market, storage barn. We've got a storage barn. Trading post, okay. Final for citizens to collect market used to provide a localized area for citizens to collect food tools and fuel what does that mean I know what a trading post is there was a tutorial for that one anyway so what are you guys gonna build that's my question when are you guys gonna actually do something there we go we're actually building a house now now let's try clearing out more resources here just all the way along, all the way along. This place is gonna be barren. Absolutely barren. And the trees are growing up right now. This one house is finally coming together. It's sort of making me wonder, how how many how much resources do we need to build a house in Krebsville? Is it like a ridiculously stupid amount? Because <laughs> it's taking quite a while. So anyway, the fishers are providing loads of fish, no doubt. Uh, let me just go out of this. Can I not see how many... 
Can I not just like click on the building and then... There we go. There we go, I can see what's inside. Yeah, so we have plenty of fish. Iron tools coming along. Hide coat. Yeah. And we have two fishers right now. Something like that. Two fishers. Okay, okay, okay. We don't have a lot of... People. What we need is more people. Maybe we need more houses, to be fair. So, here we go. Build. 8 out of 30. Uh, maybe that's, like, the percentage? Works need to be done before use. Uh, okay, here we go. Yeah, so it has to fill on up to 30, I guess. There we go. And who lives here? Shedrick! And Kaldoni. Haha. <laughs> oh god, everyone's getting more and more unhappy. Oh, this person is actually 18 years old. Let's take a look at this. They're 18 years old, they're fair, and they're male, and they're a builder, and they're educated, apparently, as well. Wow. Oh, I am so proud of the people over here in Krebsville. We are all educated. Very smart people, you see. Inventory. See, so you can hold fish and whatnot inside your inventory. And I think just about everyone has homes now. How do we increase our population? Hmm. Well, I don't really know to be honest with you, but what we're gonna do... Maybe we really need that tavern. What we're gonna do is build a... A pathway... Straight on over. Oh gosh. It's not gonna go straight on over, is it? Now it can go straight on over. Almost. Uh, almost here. We're just gonna build it like that. There we go. And then once the area is cleared up, we'll connect the road on up with the rest of our Krebsville. So let's put this up to 10 times. Because that'll be the fastest. And we're going to have to increase one more... Per we're going to put one person inside here for now. Ah! One of our kids have turned into... Or one of our children have turned into an adult. Well done. Straight on to the... Straight on to the working profession for you. There is no time for childhoods. What the hell? Look like a tree fell down. Straight on to work with these uh, kitties. So, they're clearing up this area here. We've got one tree that needs to be taken down. Then we can connect up the rest of the road. Come on, Krebulians. Get your act together. Clear the what rest of the way. They're just taking a while to transport everything, aren't they? But we have all the essentials to life. Holy crap! Okay, we are so low on fish right now. This is bad. Uh, this is bad. Let's get into our professions. Right now. And can we go into fishers? Any fishers here? Oh dear. We have set... We have like seven fishermen. This is insane. How are we running out of fish? This is impossible. You can't run out of fish when you have this much. Oh dear, maybe these uh, areas are overlapping with each other. Maybe possible. So, what we might have to consider doing... Ah, oh, it's snowing again. Damn it. We might build a hunting cabin. Say, out here somewhere. The rest of the wilderness. Now, I'm wondering if we build this, like... Just up in front, if that will be, if that will get rid of the road, or if it will keep it. Hmm. I don't know. But we're gonna build a hunting cabin just around out here. There we go. Okay, so they're not actually okay. So you have to build it, the arrows straight on top of the road. Makes sense. Now we know. So we're gonna build a hunting cabin just like on the outskirts of our town. Because I imagine that there would be more deer around there. Or, well, actually, to be fair, there's deer right in the middle of our town. They're invading us! They're invading us! Oh, no. We seem to have a lot of... Of everything now. We seem to have a lot of everything. Fish is slightly increasing now that we have one more worker, but... Oh my gosh, it's still going down. It's going down and up and down and up and down and up. But uh, it seems like everyone's everyone's relatively happy because they're having kids. So all the Kreblians are having kids and that's the important thing. 
Now, if we're gonna keep their happiness up, because I don't know what's gonna happen if they become unhappy. Oh, the reserve of stone is low. So can we build like a stone mine? Is that possible? Um. Mm, where would stone mine be found? Mine. Use some iron, iron and coal out of the ground. It's not quarry from the ground. Ah. Okay, so this is gonna be our quarry. We're gonna have to put this well off the side. And actually, maybe we'll build this like on another island. So that it doesn't mess up with the rest of what we're doing. Although, to be fair, we might have to... Okay, you know what? Screw it. We're gonna build it out here. Out here. And... The rather... Oh, <laughs> the rather... Uh, rest of our town. Something like this. Make it like that. Okay, so that's gonna be the quarry. It's gonna have to be... Our villagers are gonna have to clear out the area. And this should hopefully provide us with the necessary stone to fuel our empire with stone! Because if you didn't know, stone is a valuable commodity in fueling empires. Alright, citizens of Krebsville. Time to take your shower. Then it's off to the building. Okay, so we're gonna get one person working in the hunting cabin. Our fish supply is going up and down and up and down. We're empty right now, but our fishers are gonna get bring more fish. Oh gosh, it's such a balancing act. I'm not sure if we can sustain so many people at the same time. Uh, and what's going on right now? The production limit for this resource has been reached. Okay, so now the guy... I guess we have too much firewood. 201 firewood, yeah. That's our limit. So now, because we have too much, our guy, I think, who was maintaining this woodcutter, who was chopping, chopping, chopping all the firewood, is now going to go do something more useful. Like, build a quarry. So, anyway, we had to remove a lot of trees. And now we have to get all the logs in place. So how many logs do we have? We don't have any more. <laughs> oh shit. We might need more logs. But people are bringing supplies over, so this might be it. I'm guessing. No? It looks like they're bringing stone on over. So, uh, okay. Whatever. We're gonna clear out this area of trees and rocks and trees and rocks and trees and rocks. Ah, take a look at this. I think the forester is doing a very good job. He's planting lots and lots of new trees, just about everywhere, even on top of where we're gonna plan to have our government building. Okay, so all the villagers are grabbing the, the stone and whatnot from this area, because we're a bit short of our supplies that we need. Okay, we got all the logs, we got all the iron, and now we're just building this thing. Okay, so we've got all the necessary resources. That's good. I think we might have to increase the stockpile size. That might be a bit important. So let's just expand it on the width. Or maybe we can't actually do that. Hmm? Stockpile is too small. <laughs> okay, I guess you can't really expand it like that. You have to expand it like this. I see has to all be separated. Well, actually, no, wait, hold on. Let's remove this structure. Let's get rid of the stockpile, and we'll make a giant one. Not too big, but, you know, relatively big. That's what she said. And we'll make it the same size as the other one, something around that size. Yeah, there we go. And that will house the rest of our resources that we have coming in. So there we go, we have already too much. And see, we have a quarry! Okay. But now, let's start getting some workers in here. Question is, how many workers do we have left? Let's go to our professions tab. We have three laborers. One laborer now, <laughs> okay. So we've got a quarry. 
And workers just about everywhere. How is our food supply going? Not too brilliant, to be honest with you guys. It's not brilliant at all. I think we need more peoples. Oh shit! Oh shit! I think one of my kids might have died. Oh no! Oh god. I think our numbers went down. That's not good. Okay, uh, we're gonna need to increase the health of our people here. Oh no. Oh no, the Kreblians are dying. We're gonna have to make... We're gonna have to build this herbalist out in the uh, wilderness because he increases our health of our population. But he only gets stuff. He only gets like herbs and whatnot from old trees, from old areas. So we can't really mine out the rest of this area now. It's kind of off limits, so let's see, make sure that we don't mine this out. Okay, let's build along this, this distance, just like that. Something like a direct path, that would be cool. But I can't believe a kid died. That's terrible. One of our children died. Oh dear. Uh, <laughs> so what, what is happening with the quarry here? Are they actually like digging anything out or what's going on? I mean, is... Okay, so they just go out into this open area and they just sort of dig stuff out. Alright, fair enough. Now, we've got a bunch of trees that we need to down over here. As you can see, we've got like four more trees to get rid of, then we have to transport logs, then stone, then we have to actually build the thing. But here we are, guys. 19 population, we need to get this on up. I'm thinking we should build like a farm or something sometime soon. I think a farm would be nice. And maybe we should build it like on the outside over here. So like, you'll have all these you have all these, all our resource areas, like on this side of the map, all our resources coming here. And then suburbia will be on the left hand side, and then you have this grand plaza with the government buildings and whatnot over on that side. So let's build a crop field, and actually we'll maybe build a few different crop fields here. So that's one crop field, and maybe this will be another crop field. Oh god. <gasps> oh no! No, the people are dying! No, the people are dying! Everyone is dying of starvation! Oh, 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 oh no! We had, I knew, I know we had like, uh, food problems, I just didn't think people would die of... Oh gosh, everyone's falling off the grid. Everyone is falling off the grid. Our, Oh no, this is terrible. Oh, this is terrible. We didn't we didn't think about <sighs> Oh no. <laughs> Everyone is falling. Our numbers are just dwindling down. Okay. Hold on. What we need to do is just say screw it to every other profession. I'm sorry, but we're going to have to increase our fish count like right now. Um, there, we, we, we don't, we literally don't have the population for any other job. Oh no. And their firewood is low? What is going on? Oh gosh, people are gonna die of coal here now as well. Oh dear, oh dear. We've got more people falling off. Aya the fisherman, even the people who catch the fish are dying of starvation. This is just sad. This is actually just sad. I don't I don't know how to explain what to do when even the people who are gathering the food are dying of starvation. Oh shit. That is really bad. Um Okay, so we might possibly die of cold here as well. No Kremlians. Your existence your existence, you're dropping off the map. Anyway, we got one we got a few new kids at least, but a lot have died, unfortunately. These people must be so unhappy. Actually, they're not too badly unhappy to be honest with you guys. Uh, we're gonna decrease one fisherman and we're gonna 
put one into the woodcutter. Can't remember how to do it. Woodcutter here. Oh man, they just keep on taking all the fish. How are we? Ah. Oh. How are we expected to get more food if they just eat so much? Christ. Didn't think, I don't think we really thought this one through properly, have we? Oh dear. And the winter's around now as well. We only have a total of 13 citizens. In Krebsville. Oh, God. Oh, dear. So, I tell you what, guys. I think... I think our population has suffered quite a bit here. I think what we're gonna do is actually make a new map. But we're gonna put a bigger emphasis on... On our... <laughs> on our food supplies. Because, okay, we still have kids and stuff dying. I think this is just terrible. I think there's something morally wrong when... I'm showing you guys footage of kids dying, so we're probably gonna, yeah, we're gonna do another map. <laughs> okay, here we go. Everyone's still dying. More crabbleheads. Oh dear. Next episode.